Those falling trees knocked out power for thousands of residents in Henderson County. News 13's Kimberly King continues our team coverage. Kim, trees went down in several neighborhoods. That's right, Darcel. We're just off Greenville Highway, and crews were out here for four hours after a tree fell on Duke Power Lines. At four this afternoon on Greenville Highway, we watched as a Duke lineman in a basket repairs lines. He first puts safety covers on them before he starts the work. Methodically doing the job, of course the power was off, he then cut the line and scrubbed it before completing the job. Duke crews rerouted cars at North Highland Lake Road and Rutledge Drive, keeping the stretch closed for more than four hours. I saw the high winds and I'm not surprised. Certainly with the hot winds that we've been having in the, in the Asheville area, we have seen um, a few outages. Most of them have just been scattered. But Duke reports the tree that fell here cut off power for 300 residents. Winds continued to gust into the evening. I was actually in the house, but we had a, about a 60 mile gust. It came through. Rocky Holbert didn't even know a tree had fallen on his street, Meadow Woods Drive, until he saw a neighbor sawing it to get it off the road. Deep fire come down and shut the line off, and I think it was about 10.30. When we arrived, it was 5 o'clock, and they were still at work. Of course, the wind was really strong this morning. That's when Don Granger realized it pulled down a power line. We lost the TV and the Internet. Hours later, he's still without TV. He tries to turn it on, but the blue screen's a clear sign the cable's still out. In his office, the Internet off as well. My modem is just flashing there because I don't have any connection. We were fortunate that we didn't lose the power for any longer, I guess. And when you see lines go down, the conversation may turn to the possibility of putting lines underground, but a state utilities uh, study back in 2002 showed that it would cost $41 million and 25 years to put all the Duke power lines underground, and it would double customers' prices. Reporting live in Henderson County, Kimberly King, News 13.